I cannot hate on no nigga, just gotta wait my turn Chasing the check, it ain't nothing but a word Lean to the side every time that I swerve Hold on, baby, gotta twist my, my, uh, She throw it back on me, the bag will burn We ain't getting money, oh, what you What's up, y'all? It's your boy Sag Season TV now. Even though Tommy Egan is not an African American, he's not a nigga, he ain't black. But I will say this he is the realest nigga left on power. He was the realest nigga left on power, but now he's off on the, he's off to the sunset, people. He didn't got in deep shit with the Italians, so he done left. But one thing I must say is that this episode eliminates him as well from the suspect list. Now, despite what we thought of when he initially accused Ghost of killing Keisha, he found out the truth that it was Keisha. And despite everything and seeing the papers, he ultimately accepted. He was like, all right, I'm out. Took that L and moved on. I hon but I really honestly thought he was going to kill Tasha's ass. But boy, one thing I can't, and we can say there's a lot of, we know a lot of Tommy's uh, vices. We know a lot of his bad qualities, but if it's one quality I love about Tommy, is that that motherfucker is loyal to the end. Loyalty, in his case, loyalty and being loyal always pays out. Now, due to copyright, I won't be able to show that scene in its entirety. You can look it up on Twitter if y'all want to check it out for yourselves. Now, in this scene where Tommy tried to save Ghost. You can clearly see in his eyes that he was locked on whoever it may have been that shot Ghost. But the way he was looking and him not further pursuing that, that person lets me know that it was someone close. It had to have been someone personal. It couldn't have been Sax because Sax would have been left dead where he stood. It couldn't have been Paz because Paz too weak and retarded. It had to have been Tariq or Tasha. Now, also keep in mind that our boy is on the run from the Italians after killing Joe Proctor and Benny. But in a way, towards the end, he was able to get rid of all the evidence that was on the USB chip or whatever. And he also got to take out Vince's little ass. I was kind of glad Vince was out because Vince was annoying as hell, even though I appreciated him for whooping Tariq's little bad ass. And Tariq a bitch ass nigga that I think he, he should die at the end of that. He, he should die at the end of the series. I don't really care. Whew. Despite it all, one thing we can never question is Tommy's fierce sense of loyalty. Because that is one thing that has kept him alive throughout the series. I know that had to have been tough when he went to Club Truth and saw his best friend, his brother, Ghost laid out on the floor with that bullet hole in his chest. But one thing we can all say that, hey, we knew they was going to be brothers again. But unfortunately, in that circumstance, you know, Tommy lost a lot of family. A lot of ties have been cut, but he made it out in the end. Tell what y'all think about in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, and comment for more videos. Hit the bell button so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thank you for tuning in to Sag Season TV. I'm out.